Eagle versus vulture versus hawk. How do you tell the difference between these species? And these are birds that you may see soaring all at the same time up in the air. And that's when I think is the most difficult time to identify them. If you're able to see them perch, you can kind of see size and color better. So it's easier to differentiate. When they're up in the sky, they might be backlit. You may just be getting a silhouette view. So that's what we're gonna focus on today. And thankfully, there's only two species of eagles that you'll probably encounter in the US two species of vultures, so we're gonna go through those four species, and then there's many different hawks. And I have a whole video on hawk identification if you wanna learn about those specific birds and how to differentiate them. But when you're looking at these together, one of the first things you wanna think about is size. The eagle is gonna be the largest out of any of these three, and they're gonna look like they have really, really long wings. So if you're seeing a bird and it has exceptionally long wings, it's probably an eagle. The vulture is also going to be relatively large, and the hawks vary in size, but they're kind of medium to large, so they can look similar size to vulture. The eagle is going to dwarf these two species. In addition, the wings on the vulture are going to look like they have these fingertips. They all may look like they have those fingertips on the end of the wings showing, but it's going to be very prominent in the vulture, and they may also look like they're kind of pointed backwards to some degree. The hawk wings are going to be a little more broad and rounded compared to the others. Now looking at the tail, like a bald eagle is gonna have a very wedge-shaped large tail. The vulture, if it's a turkey vulture, it's gonna be kind of just straight back. And then the hawk is gonna have a more rounded tail here compared to some of these others. And of course the eagle, the features are the largest as we'll kind of see that trend, eagles, very large birds. The beak on an eagle, it may be hard to see from a silhouette, but it is very large and powerful. They're known for swooping down at their prey. They'll catch fish, they'll catch rodents, they'll go down, use those sharp talons, and then use their beak to eat their prey. The vulture, they're scavengers, so their beak isn't as strong. Hawks also have a pretty strong bill, but it's not as large as you would see on an eagle. As far as hunting strategies, the vultures love to soar. They're gonna look for things that are dead that they can go feast on. Eagles may be more actively hunting, and the hawks may be more actively hunting as well when they're soaring looking for food or sitting and then going after it. So all of these birds love to soar on thermals, which is the air currents above, which is why you might see large groups of them, especially during migration, they may mix together. So some specific things that I want you to remember, eagle, long wings, vulture having those fingertips that may point backwards, and then the hawk with the rounded wings. As far as flight pattern, the eagles love to glide. So they have very deliberate deep wing beats and then they will glide and soar and you'll be able to see these long wings. With the vulture, they love to lazily soar and turkey vultures will teeter. So they're kind of in a V-shaped position. We'll talk about this more when we go into the different vulture species, but they will teeter back and forth if it's a turkey vulture and look like they're flying in a V shape, which is called a dihedral, which is a term we're gonna come back to uh, with both of these species. And then the hawk, I want you to think flap, flap, glide. So they have more faster flaps and then they will glide around. So that is a bit of difference between these three and how you can differentiate them by silhouette and their other factors. Now let's look at the vultures a little more closely. So here we have the two vultures that you're most likely to encounter in the United States, the turkey vulture and the black vulture. Now in flight, when you can see from below, the turkey vulture is gonna have a white trailing edge to the back of the wings and white underneath the tail. If it's an adult, they're also gonna have a red head. Now young turkey vultures do not always have a red head, so it may look more dark. So don't let that confuse you. On a black vulture, they're gonna have a dark head and just white fingertips to their wings. Their tail is gonna be shorter and wider compared to the turkey vulture. That's gonna be a little bit longer and more slender. So if you can see the trailing edge, that's a really good giveaway that you have a turkey vulture. But also in flight, the turkey vulture has that V shape, that dihedral we talked about, and they teeter, where the black vulture is gonna look more flat in flight, and they say that they don't teeter. I've heard that they are never supposed to teeter, but I've seen it in action. So if you see teetering, it's not the definitive feature, but they're supposed to be more stable in flight. Sometimes the wingtips on the black vulture actually look like they come forward a little bit more too. But normally you'll see the turkey vultures with the V-shaped teetering, and that's a good giveaway. You will also see the black vulture, depending on where you are, with these uh, white fingertips, forward-facing wings, more stable flight without that V pattern. 
So now let's move on to our eagles. So we have the bald eagle and the golden eagle. And interestingly, like the vultures, you have one of these that flies with the dihedral and one that flies with flat wings. So the bald eagle is gonna have flat flight, so the wings are gonna look flattened out, while the golden eagle is gonna fly with a slight dihedral or V shape. Additionally, the golden eagle is gonna look like it has a really small head compared to its body, and they'll have a golden nape. The adult bald eagle, really iconic, bright white head, bright white tail feathers. Now you run into some issues because juvenile bald eagles can look a lot like golden eagles. They're gonna have more patchy color. They don't always have the white on the head yet, so everything looks a little more brown. So you wanna look at all the features to see if you're actually seeing a bald eagle or a golden eagle. Young golden eagles have white patches under their wings and white under their tail outlined in dark coloration. They still have the smaller head, golden nape, and dihedral flight pattern seen in adults. This is in contrast to the juvenile bald eagle's flat flight, larger head, and more mottled white color on the underside of their wings. Now let's go back to our first drawing we had. Let's do a little bit of a summary of the differences between these groups. So you have the eagle with the really long wings, bigger features overall, so bigger size, bigger wings, bigger tail, a larger beak. You have the gliding in flight with really deliberate wing beats. Then you have the vultures with the fingertips. We know how to differentiate the black and the turkey vulture. Uh, that tail is going to depend on if it's black or turkey vulture, but if you're seeing turkey vulture, it'll teeter and it'll be flying with that V shape and they're going to be soaring. The hawks have more rounded wings, a more rounded tail, and they are going to do the flap, flap, glide in flight. And if you want to learn more about hawks, remember I have that whole hawk identification video. So I hope this helped you identify these birds. Let me know in the comments below which tip was your favorite. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Badgerland Birding. Mm -hmm.